We finally trapped what was living underneath my grandpa's shed. This is some bad news, Grandpa. I this don't is know. some is bad it? news. The trap is shut. Yeah, there must be something in there. Let me get the trap okay, out. Okay, pull of the trap out. Wow, it's heavy. It's heavy. It's what is up everyone and welcome back to the channel. I hope all of you guys are having just an absolutely amazing day. And for those of you that are new here, well, I'm Jacob and welcome to my jungle. If you guys saw the title and thumbnail, well, you will know that we finally trapped what was living underneath my grandpa's shed. I actually wasn't expecting this one. This one was pretty crazy. It was pretty cool. A couple days ago, I was over at my grandpa's house because he called me up and told me, Jake, there's something living underneath my shed. Can you come check it out? So we went, we set traps, and today we found what was living underneath the shed. That's all I'm gonna tell you guys. If you wanna know what was living underneath his shed, where it is now, what happened to the animal, well guys, we're gonna hop into that in just a second. But before we do that, I have a special message from today's sponsor. And before we go any further with today's video, well, I just wanna give a special thank you to Electric E-Bikes for sponsoring today's video. And for those of you that have not heard about Electric E-Bikes, well, they make incredible, really cool electric bikes for the everyday user. I could talk on and on about these incredible electric bikes, but I'm not gonna talk about it, I'm gonna show you guys. And here is the XP2 from electric e-bikes and guys I would be lying if I said I wasn't impressed with this bike because this bike is perfect so again this bike is hundred percent electric and you can also pedal it on the back there's an incredible cargo basket which you can switch from the back to the front from the front to the back and to get started with this bike well actually come right here and you can just twist this little key right here once you twist the key it's ready to go you come right over here you hold the power button down and now that the bike is on, well, I'm going to walk you through what this bike does. So we have our energy bar, our speed, our pedal assist, and our odometer. So obviously the energy bar tells me how much battery I have, the speed tells me how fast I'm going, and the pedal assist actually allows me to throttle up when I'm pedaling. So if I click the little plus button right here, as I pedal, the bike is going to throttle for me. If I go to two, it's going to throttle more. Three, four, and five, but I'm going to go down to one. So once you're on number one right here, all you've got to do is you come right here and you've got your little throttle. Once you put your hand on the throttle, you just go like this and whoa, okay. So let's stop talking about it and let's take this bad boy for a spin. If you guys are anything like me, then you must really hate these gas prices. And this electric bike right here is a great alternative. On one full charge, you can go up to 45 miles. With just the throttle, you can go up to 20 miles per hour and with pedal assist on up, to 28 miles per hour, making this a great, clean, green alternative to gas motors. Guys, I can't recommend this bike enough. It's the best bike for driving around town. Woo! And if you guys wanna get your very own electric e-bike, well, all you guys gotta do is go right now, click the link in the description, and you guys can get your very own. And now that you guys got to hear about electric e-bikes and all of their incredible bikes, well guys, now it's time to hop into today's video, checking the traps underneath my grandpa's shed. Okay guys, so I just got over here to my grandpa's house, and of course, Grandpa Al, he's right over here, he's actually doing some yard work, so. Grandpa, oh, hey. Hi, I made it. Listen. I have made it. What, wait, wait, what's up? I, hey, where you been? I know hey, man, I'm, hey, yeah. hey, I've been, I've been here. Hey, I've been taking care of monkeys and Wait tigers minute. and you all kinds of stuff. You were supposed to come back right after the next night when we set those traps. But well, what happened? But you you, know? ch you checked the traps though, well, right? You know what? I checked the trap night before last, uh -huh. and 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 uh, I got tired of going out there because I was out there in the morning, went out in the afternoon, and there was nothing in there. So, so I didn't was, check them today. But that so. was that was yesterday. Yeah, I, well, I didn't check them today. You know. I just got tired of going out there looking. There's nothing in there. Yeah. Oh, well, well maybe, maybe there is. I don't know. You got to. You got to go check them right now. Well, you're gonna check it with me. But what, what, oh. are, you, what are you doing over here? You're making. Well, you're doing I'm, some... I'm making. I'm putting in a nice flower bed here. Your grandmother insisted that I put some some posies out here. All you're right, doing let's... that, but shouldn't we go check these this trap? Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, I was hoping you'd come earlier, but. By the time you got here. Yeah. So let's do it to it. All right, guys. I got Grandpa Al with me. You guys love Grandpa Al on the channel. So we're going to go check these traps. And hopefully we've caught whatever's living under his shed. Well, it looks like this is some bad news, Grandpa. I this don't is know. some is bad it? news. Doesn't look like there's anything in there right now. Doesn't look like there's anything in the big trap. And this is right where we found that what all looked to be a nest. Yeah, all of them. Looks traps. like literally there's nothing in here. We had it all covered up. And 
Yeah, we got nothing in here. Oh boy. Nothing at all, but the bait looks like it's been cleaned out. Maybe like a little rat or something got it. Yeah, the bait's that's, pretty that's very cleaned possible. out. I've seen, I've seen a little rats, a little mice around here before. Yeah, so you and think you know, maybe they got never... to it. So guys, this, this trap right here was kind of unsuccessful. Maybe it didn't, well maybe the, so maybe something's wrong with the trap door, Grandpa. Maybe it didn't, maybe it didn't go off. Let's check it out. Grandpa, I think that maybe the trap, maybe the door wasn't sensitive enough. Maybe the animal like stepped over oh, it. I'm not sure. Let's. Well, you know what? Maybe it wasn't uh, heavy enough to set the trap off and it walked right in there and ate that stuff up. Yeah. Those little mice, you know, they don't weigh anything. No, they don't. So let me actually test this out. I'm going to put my finger right here. All let's right. see. Let's One, see two. Oh, it, it snapped. It works. So. That trap worked, but we didn't get anything. So Let's go back here and check the back trap. Grandpa, do you, are you seeing what I'm seeing right here? The trap is shut. Yeah, there must be something in there. The trap is shut. Uh, do you, all right, you grab right, the hang trap. On, you hang grab on. the trap. Grandpa's gonna grab I it hope and there's see. There's nothing in there that can bite me. Yep. So Grandpa's gonna wait. wait let me go. Wait Grandpa's gonna go grab the trap. Oh boy, what is this? We put the, the we yeah, put we the put, shade cloth put on this, it. Uh, so whatever gets trapped. Oh, is there anything? I don't see nothing yet. Let me get the trap okay, out of there. Okay, pull the trap out. Wow, it's heavy. It's heavy. It's heavy? Yeah. It's real heavy. I can't. Oh. There's Whoa, something, something in there. Something's in there. Oh. Oh, oh my gosh. Is, what, is that? what is that, a snake? Uh, no. It, what do you think? Oh, oh, it's an iguana. Whoa. It's a green iguana. Oh, my gosh. Invasive so green iguana. You see that? Look at that thing. Oh, my gosh. All right. You know we, what? Wait, wait. Put the cloth on him. We don't want him to oh, bet. Oh, wow. Put, put the cloth on him. Put the cloth on him wow. because he's going crazy. Just let me see it. So let's put the cloth over it. Do you see that thing right yeah, there? Yeah, you know what? That's probably what's been running around. I couldn't scurrying away. Remember I told you when you were here before when we set the trap that yeah. something we used to scurry over there? That was what it is. I thought it was a possum, but I guess it's a I guess iguana. it's an iguana. So wow. for those of you that don't know about South Florida, we're so first things first, we're gonna take this iguana out in a second, but these are an invasive species that are from Central and South America that are now established here. So they're actually not supposed to be here, but they're they here are. and we, we trapped them. Just like the pythons. Yep, just like the pythons, these iguanas are invasive. Let's take a look at them. This one looks like it's like a two-year-old iguana. Well, I don't know. Let's look at them. So let me go out. Let's look, hold on. You can see this is a, about a three-foot iguana right here. And it's definitely a wild iguana right here. You can see he's going absolutely nuts in here. This thing is crazy, Grandpa. What would you like me to do? You want me to carry it out? Okay, no, I want you to take the iguana out. Oh, are you kidding me? I want you to grab him out. Can oh, you do that? No, I don't think I'm going to do that. Why not? Because, uh, number one, I don't want to get bit. Uh huh. And number two, uh, I'm too old for this kind of stuff. <laughs> okay, so we're going to bring this iguana out, and I'm going to open the trap, and we're going to take him out. You grab it. You Me? Better, yeah, I'll what, but what if I get bit? Hey, well, that's hey, you can handle it. I uh, can't. Okay. <laughs> Look at this hey, thing. He's going hey. absolutely insane right here. This crazy green iguana right here. So he's going nuts. Okay, let's bring him on out, Grandpa. Let's take him on okay. out. We we actually got to open this trap on up, guys. Again, what and if this he is. Gets out? I don't think he's gonna get out. So, guys, look at this. We caught something in the trap, Grandpa. What do you think about this iguana? Well, I tell you what, he's big, and he is looks mean to me. He's yeah, scary. Really? Okay, so let's actually, uh, so basically how we're gonna do this is we don't want him to get loose. Do you actually have a pillowcase I could put over this? A pillowcase? Check on the house if we got a pillow. I don't even normally keep pillowcases out here in my man cave. Okay, so Grandpa Al, yeah. I think you got the pillowcase, right? I got this from your grandmother. I hope it's going to be big enough to go over the mouth of this trap because I, I think so. if it is now, I don't want that thing to get out, get loose. Okay, so why don't you put it over the mouth of the trap? All right, I'm going to put it right over here. I don't know. It's pretty. Let me see. It's going Oof. to be pretty close. Okay, yeah, this is this is pretty close. We might need something bigger, huh? No, I got the. Okay, so this pillowcase right here, yeah. Grandpa, it's not big enough. So Grandpa's going to get a net. And I got this here. I think this should be big enough. I think that that should be big yeah, enough. Grandpa. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think Let's so. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay. Let's... So Grandpa's got the net and I. I this is what we're gonna do. So you, you're gonna hold the net right here. Yeah. So we're gonna put that right over the top, just like this. Look, just put it lower. We gotta lower it just like this. Put your hand right here, Grandpa. Put your hand right here so he doesn't get out. All right, we got him. We got him right here. Right. I got the iguana. Okay, look, we got this iguana out of the trap right here. This was oh, definitely not someone's pet. Look at him, look at he, he's angry. Guys, look at this. 
This iguana is definitely angry, and if you look at the top of his head right there, look at all those white dots. Those are actually mites on the top of his head. Yeah. Grandpa, did you think you were gonna catch? Whoa! An... Grandpa, did you too think... close? Grandpa, did you think we were gonna catch no, an iguana? No, you know what? He's really prettier than I thought he would be. Yeah, why don't you pet him? Pet his, oh, pet his spines. Pet him. I'm, I, hey, you know what? You see these spines or whatever yeah. they are. Look at he's shedding too. Yeah, if you guys look right here, he's actually shedding. So you can see when you go right here, all these spines are just coming right up as we pull the shed off. Now, you know what's sad? We can't re-release him. So you gotta euthanize him. We have to euthanize him. Because of the new Florida laws in place, I can no longer keep this iguana or rehome them. It's actually a prohibited species. So the only thing you can do with a wild green iguana, once you touch it, you have to euthanize it. You can't re-release it. I can't rehome it and I can't keep it. So that is the sad reality. I love these lizards. I actually have grown up having all kinds of pet iguana. So grandpa, wow. it's really sad. Yeah, well, you gotta do what you gotta do. The law is the law. The law is the law. And well, that's gonna end today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video. Yeah. Catching what was living underneath hey, grandpa's shed. You know what, we didn't even name Greeny here. He's a, a green iguana named Greeny. So as sad as it is, I hate to euthanize this iguana, but that is the law. So guys, we are going to have to humanely euthanize this guy. Thank you very much for coming by and, and, and getting this caught up because I was worried to death that this might be something even more ferocious than an iguana. Yeah, yeah. I thought it could have hey, been uh, I'm glad. I'm glad I could come help. Yeah, so guys, that's yeah. going to end today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video, trapping what was living underneath my grandpa's shed. Yeah. You guys love Grandpa Al, so if you want to see more videos with me and him, well, guys, make sure you go right now, hit the subscribe button, tap that little notification bell, and you'll be notified whenever I post.